This week marks the 50th anniversary of Bulgarian blues musician Artin Mustwick's first commercial release. In part one of this series, we explore Artin's struggles as a young musician in repressive post-war Sofia and find the source of his musical groundwater, which was later to flood the entire Eastern European avant blues scene and change it forever. Artin Mustwick was born to a family of confectioners in the Bulgarian village of Besta Dulce in 1930. An unremarkable child, he first came to public attention as a student at Sofia University, where he quit the radical Stalinist-Leninist brotherhood for the emancipation of the enchattled proletariat after just a week, denouncing them as a bunch of decadent imperialists and bedwetting knobbers. Like many musicians in the bleak climate of 1950s Bulgaria, Artin was forced onto the streets of Sofia to entertain the proletariat and earn a living. It was in this rocky ground that the Eastern European avant blues scene yeah. first took seed. Yeah. The Oxford year. Um, Cactilla Udachi Tibia is Novum Godum. Niet, Niet, Niet. Ochen Ploha, Ochen, Ochen Ploha, Atisic Siki, Atisic Siki. Go. What is startling in this composition, typical of Mustwick's Leningrad era, is not merely the technical virtuosity and striking originality and audacity of his performance, but the passion behind those few expressive harmonica notes, fused with a traditional bluegrass style, and the swagger of a man on top of his musical game. Blues queen Jana Christoffelk, who Artin married and divorced three times. The abrasive post-bluegrass pioneer whispering Bob Whaler and the intensely politicised Polak Bob Dylan, along with Artin himself, formed the hardcore of the nascent Sofia avant blues scene, which would come to dominate the Eastern European modernist roots movement for the next half century. Cactilla. Nichivo. Niet. Minya Dvatsi Chateria. Dvatsi Chateria Goda. Ya Diala Yudayuchniu. The Buddha. That is a cat. Thank mm -hmm. you. 